Hey, grade one, the next long vowel that we're doing is long vowel U, and we have learned it U consonant E, EW at the end, and UE at the end, although, you know, because English is crazy, it's not always at the end, but it's never at the beginning, okay, so there always has to be a letter in front, all right, we're not going to sound out, I'm going to show you the line, and then you're going to read it yourself. Dust, thumb, budge, skunks, tis the season. Okay, remember thumb, sometimes m at the end is spelled with a mb, j at the end is never spelled with a j, always ge, and if it's a short vowel, it's dge. Cute, short vowel, long vowel. Fuss, fuse, short vowel, long vowel. Long vowels need a helper. Short vowels are the vowel by themselves. Some tricky ones. We're going to be learning about this in math. Not today. So, for these long ones, don't read it all. Read it in pieces, read it in chunks. Vol, yum, looks like volume, but that's hard to say. Volume, con, tin, you. We are continuing to do school at home. Few, pew. Haven't sat in one of those for a while either. Music, cucumbers, cucumbers, and cube. Hi, Jude. You're in our phonics today. Jude saw a misspelled word stuffed porcupine at the museum that's a tricky one not so many ball words today let's see what we have for you today i don't know now i do Jumping jack. 
Y'all do jumping jacks and make your body say, look at me, people. Yes, sir. Faster jumping jacks. Even faster jumping jacks. If y'all were in a crowd of one bajillion people, I'd see you. Only you. Unless all bajillion of them were doing jumping jacks. And then I'd be a bit confused. Let's catch a breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Yeah! Champs have guts. Y'all put your hands on your gut and roll your hips around in a circle. Roll one way. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Smell your guts. Roll it the other way. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Sweet. Now fast, bust a gun. Roll, 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 roll. Yes, sir. You sure are gutsy. Now slow your roll. Roll, roll, roll. Know what? My gut tells me you're a true champ. Even when champs lose, they win. Let's do the champ victory dance. Y'all shake your hips. Wiggle them back and forth. Shake. Raise your arms in the air and shake them too. Shake it, shake it, shake. Now shake your head. Yes, sirree. Kick one leg. Turn around. Touch the ground and jump in the air like you just don't care. Big crazy finish. I dig it. Y'all are victorious. That was awesome. Give yourself a self bye Yeehaw! Okay, new story. This story is called Flowers by Patricia Whitehouse. The genre is a photo essay. So it uses photographs, real pictures, to uh, inform, so to tell you about or to explain. So this is going to use pictures to tell you all about flowers. So compare and comp contrast. You're going to have different kinds of flowers that you can compare. And so sometimes you're going to find differences and sometimes you're going to find that there are things that are the same about them. And you're going to see what kind of flowers are there. Whole bunch. Journal. Blank. It's hard for me to think of things for you to write about. So you can write about anything that you want to. If you really can't think about anything, tell me the best thing that you did, not at school at home, but at school at school. What was the best thing that you did when you were at school with everyone else? Then we have four pages, a long vowel sort, long A, long O, long U. We've done these before, and if you have a, a bingo dabber at school, at home, you can use those, or you can just circle the right vowel spelling. So if you don't know what the picture is, you can still figure it out. Is it a cur or a cur Cruise, and then you write it. This is coloring, so you can read the word, toe, and that would be this, so you have to color in this box red. All the toes are going to be red. Read, cut and paste, and optional for those of you who really want to do spelling words or who parents tell you to, and then you can read 